Hi, I'm Al Cadulo, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Metal Skybox 360 VR transitions. For this tutorial, we're going to start out using my 360 demo reel. And as you can see here, we started out with a time lapse done at sunrise, and then we move into parkour. So it's quite an interesting jump. So for this first one, I've decided to use the iris wipe. And I'm going to take and drag that onto the timeline. And then you're going to see all the different variations that we can do with this. We can show the actual sources. We can feather the edges of the transition. And if we wanted to, we could even change the point of interest from being at the center to somewhere else on the screen. So now let's take a look at what it looks like. I'm going to back up one more time here and I'm going to step through this for you slowly so you can see how the transition takes place. Next up, we're going to take a look at another spot. Here we've got Muay Thai fighters. And as we hit play, you see we're moving to Angkor, Cambodia. And so that's kind of an abrupt transition. So we need a good transition that'll take us there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the gradient wipe. With the gradient wipe, you will select different gradients that you can use that will give you a different look with each gradient. Now I'm going to step you through this so you can see what the transition looks like frame by frame here. And with all of these transitions, you can adjust certain factors. Here we're adjusting the feathering. We can also rotate the transition if we want to on either the X, Y, or Z axis points. So that's the gradient wipe. Now let's move over to another cut. And here we're going from inside to outside in Angkor, Cambodia at the World Heritage Site. So we're gonna use random blocks to show you what that looks like. With random blocks, you can change more things. Here you see you can change the size deviation, the number of random seeds, uh, the block width, the height. So there's quite a bit more that you can change along with the rotation. And here you see we'll step through and show you exactly what this looks like. I think that gives you a better idea of what the transition does. Okay, with this next transition, we're gonna go from another time lapse. This one was a lot of fun. It was a day to night time lapse. And we moved to another temple location in Thailand at the Erawan Shrine. And here we're gonna use my favorite one. We're gonna use the Mobius Zoom. Now this is kind of a, a warp or a time transport type of zoom. Some people even refer to it as a morphing. Here you can adjust your, your zoom level out and your feather width, as well as your point of interest. Here's what it looks like. Let's play through. Very cool, very cool. Then we're gonna go ahead and step through it for you again to show you what it looks like. But that's not all that you get with Metal Skybox. If you have the Metal Skybox VR tools, you can also use a couple of other effects to create transitions. Now how we're going to do this is we're going to create an adjustment layer and then we're going to put it on the timeline on the video track above the two clips that you want to make a transition. So let's adjust it. And now what we're going to do, spread it out a little bit more so we can see it easily. Next, we're going to apply the Skybox Glow effect to the adjustment layer. We're also going to go ahead and create the beginning and end fade in and out for the transition. So we're gonna create some sets of keyframes of opacity for when we want the effect to start and where we want it to end.
With those in place, we're gonna go ahead and set up our adjustments for how we want the glow to go because we want it to be fairly extreme. And as you can see, you've got luma threshold, glow radius, brightness, saturation. You can even change the tint color. And so we want a really extreme look here since we're changing from one to the other. So let's tweak those a little bit. And now let's move through the transition and we're gonna show you just what it looks like as we go through it here. So we get a very extreme glow, we get the transition happening. And then that's our final effect. There's one more effect that we can use as a transition and that's the skybox blur. And we're gonna do basically the same thing. We're gonna go ahead here quickly. We're going to create our adjustment layer even it up over the two clips here. And then we're going to set our keyframes for opacity, for our in and our out. We're going to grab the skybox blur and put it into our effect on our adjustment layer. Here we go. Now with the blur, we can adjust how blurry we want it to be. And of course we want to turn this all the way up because we want it to really blur out in between the scene. And we're gonna step through it here a little bit, show you what the, just how blurred out it gets as it transitions from one clip to the next. And then it comes back to us nice and clear. And that's it for our tutorial. These transitions are very easy to use, even using the effects and turning them into transitions are very easy. It's just basically drag and drop and make the adjustments that you want. We'll try and come up with some more tutorials for you to show you how to work with 360. Thanks a lot, I'm Al Cadulo. Have a great day.